The goose calls its night watch to witness by its persevering noise. No animal senses a human smell like a goose. The gull's assault on the capital was detected by its noise. Thus, Rabana says, This bird can symbolize foreseeing people keeping a good watch over their guard. Now there are two kinds of geese, domestic and wild. Wild geese fly high and in a row, and they symbolize those who live far removed from earthly status by living well. But domestic geese live together in villages, often calling out. They wound one another with their beaks. They symbolize those who, although they love a gathering, spend their time on gossip and backbiting. All wild geese are ash grey in colour, and I have never seen one that was multicoloured or white. But in domestic geese, there is not only the ash grey colour, but also multicoloured and white. Wild geese have the ash grey colour because those who are far from the world take a low garb of repentance. But those who dwell in cities or in villages wear clothing of a more beautiful colour. A goose senses the smell of a person arriving before the rest of the animals. It does not cease to call out at night because a prudent person recognizes others, however far away, through their evil or good reputation. Therefore, when a goose senses the smell of one arriving by night, it does not cease to call out because when a prudent brother sees thoughtless offenses of ignorance in others, he should call out. The noise of a goose drove back the enemy gulls from the capital, but the noise of a prudent brother drives the ancient enemy away from the chapter. The noise of a goose saved the city of Rome unharmed from enemy attack. The noise of a prudent brother guards its attention from being disturbed by wicked people. Perhaps divine providence would not have displayed the natures of birds to us, Unless, it may be, he wished to make them useful to us in some way.